and welcome to ABA with ABS. Today we are going to talk about an easy and quick way to help your child learn to tolerate a mask. Wearing a mask is something that is getting more important as children are getting ready to go back to school and many guidelines are recommending that older children wear masks. For some kids, wearing a mask can be as easy as just explaining to them why they need to, showing them some visuals that help, or even watching a fun social story or video. But for other kids, wearing a mask can be uncomfortable, scary, and unknown. For children like this, desensitization is a very easy way to help them that is research proven. Today, I'm going to explain to you how you can easily use desensitization even in a short time and how you can do this effectively with your child. I will also show you how to do this. So let's start with what is desensitization. Desensitization is a research-based effective strategy to teach a variety of skills to a variety of people. It's a great way to teach someone to tolerate something that they are uncomfortable of or fearful of. Desensitization involves gradually exposing the child to something that they are uncomfortable with for short periods of time and gradually increasing the time as they become comfortable. We pair this exposure with praise and sometimes even something that the child really likes like a reinforcing item, activity, or even a food to help them tolerate the stimulus. Of course, you don't want to expose someone to something that they are uncomfortable with that is unnecessary, but sometimes there are things in life that we have to teach children to learn to tolerate. Here's what you will need to get started. First, you will need a mask, maybe even several masks. It might be helpful to help the child by offering them a choice of a couple of masks in their favorite colors or prints to make it a little bit less scary. It's also helpful to have a reinforcer. This is that item, activity, or even tiny bites of a favorite food or tiny sips of a favorite drink that are gonna help them make this experience more pleasant. If you really want this to be as effective as possible, it should be something that the child doesn't get for free all the time. The smallest steps may even just be looking at the mask or touching the mask to get started. That's okay, don't worry, we will gradually work up to more. Start by telling the child that you are going to practice and if you want, watching the social stories or videos, showing them the visuals, or even just talking about it a little bit before getting started. You also will then present the smallest step that they are going to be comfortable with. Have them do that step and then provide praise and that reinforcing item, activity, or tiny bit of food or drink. Some kids may be okay with just praise and that's fine too. Keep the sessions short. You want to end on a good note. It's better to do lots of small sessions. If the child stays calm during the step, provide praise and the reinforcing item. If they get upset, don't stress. Stay calm. Don't talk to the child and wait calmly for them to calm down and then represent the step. It's most effective if you do not end the session when your child is upset. You want to end on a good note. So if they got upset a couple times in a row, back up to an easier step, present that, get them to be successful with that, give them the reinforcing item and end your session. You can start again later. Once they are tolerating the step that you have, a couple times in a row, increase the difficulty just slightly. It's very tempting to go too fast. If your child is only able to wear a mask for three seconds before you give the reward, don't increase to five minutes. Instead, maybe increase to five seconds or 10 seconds. If you'd like and you have a BCBA who can help you, this is a great time to get them involved. Here's some helpful tips for moving forward. It's best, again, to do this in short steps and practice very frequently. The more frequently you practice, the faster it will go. Use your pen and paper to write down how the child did. Mark the date, what the step was that they did, and a plus or minus for how well they did with it. That way, when you come back to it the next day or in a couple of days, you remember where to get started. Also, don't forget to use that reinforcer. 
that really is going to help the child feel more comfortable and do better with tolerating the item in many cases. And again, go slowly. Don't increase too quickly and don't be afraid to back up if your child gets upset. You can always move up later. And again, feel free to get a BCBA involved if you need help. Professionals are always out there to help you. We hope that you find this video helpful. Don't forget to check out our sister video for children on wearing a mask. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.